Hi guys, welcome to my page. I am Mastery Blends and it is time to translate, which I'm excited about. Um, this is going to be an overall general translation, no matter your zodiac. So get comfortable and enjoy. I'm going to start today with the overall like energy using the stones and crystals. So. It's kind of loud. Ah, we got the hearts again. Love is in the air. <laughs> ah, the acorn came out. Oh, geez, the last one was uh, the leaf, and now the acorn came out. And another acorn. Asalentes. Do we have some fall mm -hmm. on this? That's awesome. The leaf came out. I mean, the leaf came out on both sides. Acorn came out on both sides. How intriguing. This is Divine Love. Like here in the after rim. This is what my crystal always symbolizes to me. It's, oh, Jesus. A perfect balance. But this is definitely going to be a love translation. And for some reason this reminded me of fall and it's not just because of the acorns it's just literally that's the energy for sure so i'm going to start off again with my bonus cards then i'm going to move over to the tarot cards and then i'm going to pull extra fortune so let's see the And something else I want to talk about, I had noticed when I was in the shower, because I'm in the bathroom doing this translation, which is one of my favorite spots. I believe the bathroom is like a beautiful transition situation. You never know what can happen in the bathroom. It's like a kitchen to me. Amazing things can come out of there. Um, the six came out of hearts, which is awesome to me. Six always represent light and dark situations, and it's based off love. And the love crystal came out, so that's super awesome. Something that you're not seeing is there. Or you may not be saying that. Where's my words at today? Words, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes I get tongue-tied a little bit. That's why they say speaking is the best. It's nice, but for me, I translate in so many different ways. I normally use art, but this is also my gift to do this, so I embrace it. But sometimes words is just... <sighs> <sighs> and that goes again with this six light and dark situations. That's awesome. What else? Ooh, what else? Let's see. Ah, uh, two. <clears throat> Alrighty. Two and six. For me, this is coming off as an extra person. This is could be a triangle relationship. For sure, and you're not noticing it because you're not seeing it. Like a, a third party situation, for sure. And two acorns came out, which is going again, like with my chest piece, as I say. Um, I have a heart, I can show. I have a heart in the middle, and then there's two queen bees, and there goes light and dark situations. This is definitely a triangle situation. Oh, Jesus, okay. A triangle situation. The Joker came out with a dollar sign. Um, the Joker to me always symbolized change your perspective as into what came out in the first card as into you're not seeing it, but you need to use hangman thinking when you are operating through this. I 
Then I dropped another card. Give me a second. Maybe I didn't, but I thought I did. Maybe I didn't, because I don't see nothing. And the king came out. Which to me, this is symbolizing the heart. This is one person dealing with two others, for sure. And you got to change your perspective on it. From what angle, I'm not sure. Is it one of the people that's in the party or is it the king who got to change their perspective? But somebody got to change their perspective on it. And it's going to help in a dollar sign area because the dollar sign is right there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's move over to the tarot cards. <laughs> For me, it's like, it's, when it comes out like that, it's a meant to be situation that may be getting resisted because it's something maybe you weren't raised to think is so appropriate. But for me, I always think about how it always goes. Like guys who got 59 baby mamas, it's like, if you have a way of bringing them all together, it will benefit better and definitely in the financial area. But, you know. To each his own, it ain't for everybody. I believe in the rainbow, and I believe you need to learn what lane works for you. Even if you don't appreciate the other colors that's available, it's not for you. Find your lane that works for you. And this translation, as I say, is not for everybody, but it's the overall energy for all the zodiacs. It don't matter what your zodiac is, somehow you're in this energy. Uh, I would say takes what resonates. Um, but it's the overall energy. The first card that comes out in our tarot is you're manifesting something for sure. The, um, Page of Pentacles came out and the star to me always represents manifestation and you're literally holding it in your hand. So maybe you manifested this relationship. Ah! <laughs> Pardon my laughter, but literally, this is the same energy that just came out in our bonus cards. This is all the manifestations around you, and the king is giving out this opportunity for sure. Maybe somebody was already there, and he's giving you this opportunity to join. And when I say king, I mean, this to me is coming off as a male energy, even though people say a king could be a girl. Hey, let's not use a gender, but there's one person dealing with two people. Take it however it resonates, but that's exactly what it is. Somebody is bringing you into a relationship because he's holding the balance. And it's interesting because it seems to me the person that they're already with seem to be hungry too. Not hungry as in stomach-wise, but seeking emotionally, if that makes sense. Which to me is not surprising because it's just like anytime somebody steps outside of what they're already dealing with, they're unsatisfied. That's why they're still seeking. But I also have to say, that's just what I just said was a personal opinion about how I feel like I feel like if a person step outside of the ship, they're unhappy. They're still seeking. They don't feel complete. That's why they looking for more. Um, this person is holding a balance. And that seems to be a really important thing to say. So... I need to look at this a little more. This balance is catching my attention. Whoever is being brought into this relationship, because this is definitely a triangle relationship for sure. Um, and the cards is just definitely, even starting with the bonus cards, it completed it. And now these are the tarot cards and the tarot cards are saying the same exact thing. And so did the um, crystal and the unicorn. The unicorns, the acorns, honey. The acorns. <laughs> but, um... Whoever is being brought into this relationship or triangle or situation, however you want to word it, this person is bringing a balance for you. It will complete you, if that makes sense. And one more card. 
Yes, it will complete you. You're in the middle of this and you're holding two swords of justice and you're using the moon to guide you through this, which that lets me know when I go back to the bonus cards as into who has to change their perspective. It's the person being brought into this situation. Because it's like you, they're giving you the balance and it seems that you are the balance for this situation for both of them, if that makes sense. And this water is catching my attention also. Because I was going to do this translation in a different area, but as I was saying before, and I kind of jumped down the road, now I'm back. Um, it's fish behind me, and what was catching my attention was a turtle trying to communicate with a fish. And the fish looked surprised that the turtle was trying to communicate with it. It might seem weird, but it's going to resonate with somebody. It's like somebody is bringing something to your attention, but you're not expecting it to come from that person, it seems like. And even with this car and this water being behind it, whatever's coming to you, giving you this opportunity. And some people might say, I'm not in a relationship. I feel the need to say in this, maybe a business opportunity or it's something financial because the change of perspective came out too and it's dealing with dollar signs. I said love when it comes to love because that's the overall energy just starting from the crystal in the light and dark situations. But I do feel the need also to say maybe this could be career-wise, like business. Um, you might need to change your perspective on something as to who's coming to you with this offer. Um, because it's beneficial. You like seem to be the key to this situation. Um, and for me, when it comes to things like this, it always just remind me of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. If this is what's meant to be, you're going to be able to communicate beautifully through each other. Um, which to me, I feel like the devil energy might come out in this. And it's not a bad thing, but... Holy Spirit, sometimes when you dealing with light and dark situations, it comes off evil to people because it's like, I don't actually see it, but I feel it. That's why communication can be beautifully. Um, and I just feel the need to say that. that it didn't come out, but... I feel like that definitely is a pull on my card. But now an ending card came out. Something could be ending for you. But, um. Ah! <laughs> I can chuckle sometimes. Maybe this single life for you is ending because you're joining a situation. There's three swords up there, and that single one is going bye-bye. But let's see what our extra fortune is. Something happy ready to mingle. <laughs> but I think the need to stay optimistic is really important. This came out last time, stop it. Your happiness is intertwined with your outlook on life. Your happiness is intertwined with your outlook on life. That is definitely going with changing your perspective as into situations that's approaching you. Because you might seem to be in your own way of blessings of growth. So remember, be kind. You are a reflection. Do like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys soon.